Hello. This class is going to be a seated class, and so I have a chair without a cushion, and it doesn't have any arms on it, and so it will allow me to have movement. It also is relatively deep, and I placed it on the mat. Just be aware that you don't want your chair slipping during class, and um, sometimes chairs will leave permanent indentations on mats, so you can decide what you want to do there. Welcome to class. We can go ahead and start the Spotify playlist if you're coming along with me. We're going to sit on the edge of the chair and we're going to plant our feet about a little wider than hip width. So I want you to see if you can get your feet planted on the ground. We're going to bring our hands palms up. We're going to sit up nice and tall and we're going to close our eyes if possible or leave your eyes half open for soft gaze. And we're going to begin to breathe in and out through the nose. We're focusing here in this class on mobility, the range of motion. And so even filling into your range of the motion of your breath as it moves into the chest and out the chest. Maybe letting your ribs expand a little bit. Maybe letting your belly get nice and big on the inhale. Let your shoulders relax down away from your ears. And the crown of your head extend up towards the sky. You can constrict your throat on the exhale for ocean breath, ujjayi breathing. And we're going to open our eyes and bring our hands palms down. And we're going to begin to spiral the upper body around. So coming to the side, to the front, and back around. So just circling could be small. And just noticing where it is that you feel mobility. Where in your body we have proprioception in our body that allows us to tell when the muscles are contracting and when they're stretching. We have receptors in our tendons and joints that tell us the relative position of our bones. And then notice if you can feel into gravity. Maybe letting your head move a little bit more. Being very gentle with your body. Breathing nice and evenly. And we're going to notice the direction that we're traveling. And when you're ready, we're going to reverse it. So feeling that moment when you take it the other direction.
couple more revolutions around. And we're going to find our way back to center, neutral spine, extending our spine nice and long. We're going to take one hand and we're going to cross it over, holding on to the opposite thigh. We're going to do a side bend with the other arm, reaching the arm up and coming over, letting your ear move towards your shoulder, bringing positive tension into that arm above your head nice and strong and taking some deep breaths here and then bringing it back to center bring that arm down we're going to switch to the other side crossing the other arm over palm up reaching up and over reach 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 maybe letting your head relax towards your shoulder Breathe. And then bring it back to center. Bring your hands down. And we're going to do a little rotation of the spine. So let's place our hands so that we go hands forward and just rotate one direction, rotate in the other. Just noticing, keeping your elbows nice and tight into your ribs as you rotate the spine. And then we're going to come back to center and place your hands, palms down and let yourself come back to that meditation. Stillness. Hmm. We're going to take our hands, palms down on our thighs, and we're going to do cat cow seated. And so notice again that my feet are planted on the floor. I'm going to draw my elbows back and I'm going to squeeze my shoulder blades and I'm looking up, keeping a little tension in my neck. And then I'm going to bring the hands forward and bring it into a curled spine like cat your own natural time here. Draw it back, inhale, exhale, navel into spine, round forward. Last one. Coming back to neutral spine, we're going to move one leg over and we're going to lift the other one. And I want you to just roll your ankle. You could flex point your foot. And then bending at the knee, straighten and bend, keeping strength in the core. And then into the hip, Maybe move the leg in one direction and then move the leg in the other direction. And then let's bring it back to center, other side, planting the foot. We're going to roll the ankle. Notice the sounds, the crackling. It's okay as long as there's no pain. And then bending the knee. Flexion and extension, and then taking it around one direction and then maybe the other direction. Okay, let's bring it back to center. We're going to take our arms into strength. And so what I want you to do is curl your, uh, your wrists in. Strength, you're going to like you're going to like hug your muscles to your bone. And then what I want you to do with the muscles hugged, I want you to 
straighten the arms and you're gonna feel this amazing sensation that feels good to me on the forearm, the front of your forearm. So even as you bend, strength, extend, keep those wrists flexed, curled in. Inhale, exhale. Breathe. Now we're going to begin to roll the wrists. So let's release them and just roll them around. You could let your fingers become soft, your arms become soft. And then taking it the other direction, rolling the wrists. Mobility. You could take your fingers and move them independently of each other, including the thumb. Can you get into the whole thumb? And then when we're ready, when you're ready, you can interlace your fingers and we're gonna press the arms forward and you're gonna dome up your upper back. So here my tail is tucked and my I'm doming up my upper back and I'm pressing my arms away. Breathe. Okay. <coughs> now let's release those hands, bring it back to center and breathe here. Just notice how your arms feel. We're going to do a little mobility in the arms by bringing them forward, up, and back around. And if you hit that chair, you can move over to one edge of your chair. So it's a up and around. See if you can reach all the way up, fingertips up towards the sky and all the way back. And you might find that you are out here Maybe your arm is bent, that's perfectly normal, natural. But what we're looking for is your range of motion in your shoulder. And then when you're ready, can you take it the other way? So coming back first, up and around. Reaching with the fingertips. Reaching, breathing. <sighs> Last one around. So we're going to switch to the other arm. So taking the arm up and back, you could turn your palm. And notice if there's a big difference. This side feels a little tighter than the other side for me. Breathing up, around. Reaching fingertips. One more time. And then let's switch it to the other side. So coming up or back and up. Breathe. Two more. Last one. Now let's take both arms up and just see where you are. So see if you can get your arms next to your ears, but we're gonna relax our shoulders down, press the shoulders down, and then reach the arms up. If you like, you can interlace your fingers and take the index finger up to the sky and feel into that. Now engage your low back, get strong, tucking your tail. Take a couple of deep breaths here. Now option, only if you feel comfortable with this, we're gonna take it to the side. 
So just gently reach it to the side over, stay connected to your core, stay connected to your roots, your feet. Take a deep breath in, come back to center and other side, nice and gentle. So if you can stay within the same plane, shoulders and hips and arms. Take a deep breath in, come back to center and then we're gonna release those hands down. We're gonna take the hands to the back, see if there's room back here to interlace your fingers and then squeeze your shoulder blades and straighten your arms. So straighten the arms. Now, don't over extend your back so you want to tuck your tail and engage your core here. You could gently look up, keeping a little tension in the front of your neck. And then release. Now we're gonna turn so that we are sideways on your, on your chair and we're gonna do a twist where we extend the spine long and then we're gonna twist and hold on to the back of our chair if there is one. And we're just gonna use that chair to twist a little bit deeper in one direction, looking over your shoulder, breathe. Range of motion, being able to look behind you. Take a deep breath in, let's bring it back to center, nice and slow, and then walk our feet through center and over to the other side. Planting your feet, sitting up nice and straight, extending your spine before you twist. Hands come to the chair, looking over your shoulder. Breathe. a deep breath in and rotate back nice and slow coming back facing front planting your feet we're going to take the legs a little bit feet a little bit wider and we're going to take a deep breath in and then the hands come down and as they come down we inhale and then shoot it up breath in Breath in. Okay, planting your hands on your knees. You can lean forward and we could take our fingers so that they're facing on the inside of your thigh and then just curl in and see if you can bring your shoulder forward a little bit, bring it back to center and then maybe the other side and just notice how your shoulders feel. Maybe looking over a shoulder as you bring one forward, moving from one side to the other. Coming back to center, we're gonna bring our hands here and I want you to feel into these hands and I want you to press your thighs. So stability is an important aspect of yoga. So we're just gonna press our thighs into our hands and our hands into our thighs. And as you do this, you have a nice long spine. And then we're gonna breathe. So as you have these muscles contracted, you wanna breathe evenly in and out through the nose. Relax your jaw. And then let's release the tension. Let your arms soften. Let your legs soften. We're going to come into the pose of the day. 
which is warrior, or it's actually high lunge, but let's just call it Virabhadrasana one, which is warrior one. So I've turned and I'm still seated and I've got this right underneath my thigh, the chair, and my, um, my shin and my knee are at a 90 degree angle. And then I'm just bringing my other foot back. So we're gonna call this warrior one, Virabhadrasana one. And then we're gonna take our arms up. They can stay apart or you could interlace the fingers and you could look up, gentle back bend. Straightening that back leg as much as it feels okay to do so, you're gonna feel a deep stretch in that back hip. Breathe. Straightening the arms, relaxing the shoulders down away from the ears. Virabhadrasana one. Take a deep breath in and let's come back upright. If you're leaning back, releasing the hands. Coming back through center, nice and slow. Let's take the knees and just bring them in and out a couple of times. and then finding your position on the other side. So sitting on the edge, that back leg comes back. My knee is right, or my shin is right underneath my knee forming a 90 degree angle. I'm sitting here, this could be arms up. You could hold it here. You could bring the hands together, interlace the fingers. You could look up to the sky, pose of the day, Virabhadrasana one. Straightening that back leg as best as you can. Breathe. <sighs> the mantra, I am. I am worthy. I am here. I am present. I am. Take a deep breath in. Let's release our hands, coming back to center. And then just let your knees come in and out. Just releasing the tension in the body. And we're gonna come into forward fold. So just coming far, as far forward as you feel comfortable. Maybe you're right here. Maybe you can just lay your belly and let your head maybe widen your feet. Let your head relax forward. Forward fold seated. Hmm. And then slowly, using your core muscles, can you sit up? Nice and slow, pressing into the ground as you rise back up. Head, chest, and pelvis all in alignment. We're going to do pigeon pose, seated. So we're going to lift up one leg and we're going to cross it over, sitting up as straight as you can. Let's just feel into this outer hip. You can hold it here, or you could come forward just a little bit, hinging forward on your shin. You could bring your hands to rest on your shin and your chin into your chest. Pigeon pose, seated. Hmm. Slowly press to rise, lengthening the spine as you come up. We're gonna take that foot and place it down on the ground and let's do the other side. So placing the ankle on the thigh right above the knee. You could hold it here 
or extending your spine forward. Come over a little bit, maybe resting elbows on your shin, chin to your chest, and breathe. To come up, we engage the core, we lengthen the spine, we move slowly back through center, and then we're gonna place the foot down. Okay, we're gonna find our way into standing, but we're gonna use the chair as a support. So if this is available to you, Standing next to your chair, we're going to shift our body weight to the foot that is closest to your chair, and then we're going to move the other leg. And if you like, you can move this arm. You can move slow. You could come over. If you don't need the chair support, you can release that hand. It's a dynamic balance. Exploring your range of motion, mobility. Could be little, right here. And then when you're ready, static balance. We're gonna take the, the knee into the chest, standing up as straight as you can, flexing that foot. Breathe. Take a deep breath in. We're going to place that foot down on the ground. We're going to walk over to the other side of our chair. The supporting leg is the leg that's next to your chair. We're going to move. Could be little. Could be big. You could also do this in a seated position, just one leg, one arm. And when you're ready, finding your balance, let's draw that knee in, flexing the foot, Standing up nice and straight. Breathe, 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 breathe. And then placing the foot back down. Okay. Letting your body come into standing. Feet are hip width apart, palms facing forward. This is our pose that is mountain pose, engaging the core, Tadasana. You can always hold on to the chair if you need to here. Now we are going to do downward facing dog using the chair. If this doesn't feel good, you could go back to perhaps the forward fold. I'm going to place my chair in another direction. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to forward fold here. And then I'm going to bring my hands to the chair. And then I'm going to maybe bend my knees. And I'm going to see if I can get my back straight. So you don't want to dome up your upper back. So if your back looks like that, what you want is your back straight, your tailbone to the sky. So if you need to bend your knees to do that, do that. And then eventually you'll get to straighten your legs. You might even practice maybe moving your feet out or in, finding your ideal, ideal form here. And then looking down at your mat. Maybe your heart can melt through between the shoulders. Breathe. Okay. 
Okay, let's take a deep breath in and come up a little bit. And we're going to step one foot forward. And the back foot is going to turn out a little bit. And this is actually our um, pyramid pose. And I need to back up a little bit. And what I'm doing is I'm, I have my front leg straight and I'm bending forward and I'm getting a stretch in my front leg as I do this. So it's a little bit like downward dog, but I have a little bit more intensity because one leg is forward, the other is back. My heels are lining up. My back foot is turned out just a little bit. Pyramid pose using the chair. Okay, let's lift up a little bit and switch feet. Other foot forward, other foot back. Lining up your heels. That front leg is straight. You want to make sure you don't hyperextend at the knee joint. So maybe a little bend in it. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Taking a deep breath in, we're going to come up. We're going to walk our feet in, and we're going to try just our forward fold here. And you could just place your, your hands on the chair, depending upon how high or low it is. You could rest your head. Hmm. Bending your knees, we're going to roll up or come up with a straight back. And we're going to find our way either on the floor, laying down, or in a chair. So if you choose to stay here in the chair, letting your hands be soft on your shins, final relaxation, final meditation, and mobility cannot just only be in the body, but it could also be in the mind and your emotions and your spirit. So sensations of being able to move in different directions in your mind, not being stiff or rigid in your emotions, and then what does it mean to have mobility in your spirit, that which is unique to you? Are you spirited? Are you bright and shiny? Are you leaping like a flame? As opposed to maybe being stagnant and still. Stillness can be part of mobility as we come back to center. Just thinking about mobility as a property that you can cultivate, that you can balance with other properties. The ability to change your mind change directions, freedom, freedom in your spirit, your heart center, breathe. Notice if there's any place in your body that you're holding tightness, rigidity in, letting your body ease into this 
relaxed state. Feeling free to stay here as long as you like. 